Hello you folks, how are you going? Skypolo here, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I have more power options here than Chernobyl. I've got a real treat for you guys today from my terrific friends at GT Power. I have done reviews on all these GT Power items you can see here today, ranging from the portable LiPo Lion chargers, the B6 Mini, the SD4i, up to your larger 400 watters and 200 watt power supplies. This is the X4 Mini. This is my daily LiPo charger for all my LiPos. I love it because you can charge four different cell type LiPos, even Lions at the same time, instead of waiting for a single charge, which is really, really good. Or if you just want a two channel charger, this does the same thing. It's for all your LiPos, Lifes, Lions, Nickel Metal Hydrides, Nickel Cadmium, everything. So check them out guys. They have outlets all over the globe, so you won't have any trouble in getting one to your doorstep. Enough of the intro, what are we here for today? This is the much anticipated, you got it, the C6 Pro. I know what you're saying, it looks just like the X2 or X4. Well, it may look like the X2 or X4, but this is a new model and it has some really, really cool features which I'm going to run through today. One of which is Bluetooth connectivity, so you can program your own charging program for all of your batteries and you can even print off some labels which enables you to scan a QR code so you can have your settings all ready to go so all you need to do is plug it in and hit that program button on your mobile device and you're up and charging this is really really cool thanks for stopping by let's crack on in Pro, here we go. Have a quick look. New functions. So, what we have ticked down the side here this is a 300 watt, uh, 100 watt AC, it's 300 DC. It's got a tire warmer mechanism, so if you're into RC cars, you can actually, um, yeah, fast heat your tires, which is really cool. Servo test function, motor run function. This has the battery repairing function. If you have a fairly discharged lipo often they will come up with errors and not charge so you can actually repair your lipo which is really good okay as i said before phone supports phone app so bluetooth connectivity agm p8 battery so this you can also charge your dji phantom 3 uh, phantom 3 pro and a couple of other dji's i'll get into that as well which is really really decent Battery warmer function, no one likes a cold battery. No IR test, digital power, count battery using times, and faster the balance charging process. If you are wanting to have a look at those techs and specs, I'll stick them up now to prepare to pause. open her up and see what we get inside here we have it GT Power C60 Pro just as I thought instruction manual and power lead fairly comprehensive book guys fairly easy to read not too small uh, get yourself a cup of coffee and just peruse through it and if you have used these chargers before, uh, the iMaxes, all, they all function pretty much the same. GT Power are really good because they actually have it on PDF. Uh, everything's on the, on the computer. I will leave a link down below, guys, which will take you straight to this document. Um, so you can actually have a nice, easy read of it without worrying about missing things. It's all here, self-explanatory. gives you lots of text and specs. You've got a map of... How your buttons operate it's everything in the book and a little bit more certainly well worth having a look at i can hear a couple of you guys saying yeah but what does it weigh well that's easy 
weighs 421.6 grams. Let's just run through what we have here. We have our DC input on the left here. Uh, we have a temperature connector here if you wish to run a temperature gauge. And on the right we have our output for our LiPo and our balance lead. And it is as simple as that. Have a quick look through the menu. I won't bore you too much. Really easy to use. So we have our battery types here. We have our lithium battery mode. Select that. And you can scroll through LiPo, Lion, LiHV, Life, Power Supplies. We have our Nickel Metal Hydride, Nickel Cadmium, Lead Acid, DJI Phantom. So this is where we can do our Phantom 2 and Phantom 3. And I believe they're allowing for Phantom 4 with a firmware upgrade. So keep an eye out for that. Now CC out. This is our warmer. You can select the different degrees temperature for your tire warmer so by default when you turn this unit on it jumps to GT power charger and starts on lithium mode so that's all you actually need to do because what we're going to do now is we're going to connect it to our tablet so to do that guys there's a couple of ways you can do it uh, you can either go straight to the website or you can scan on your mobile device or tablet the QR code uh, the website you have the code that comes up here you can also scan it there and it's worth mentioning it's available at either the app store or google play okay i have slightly dimmed the light so i don't get any reflection off the screen here so what we want to do is to when we want to connect it to our mobile device or tablet or even PC for that matter all you simply do is turn it on open up the app you'll come to this screen here which is your opening screen don't worry about anything here just yet go straight to settings and click on your two-way data icon at the top there and you'll see the GTP charger pop up on the screen hope you guys can see that select that it'll tell you it's connecting and we are connected away then back to home again and this is where you do your charging i've got an 854s i don't need to touch anything on on the actual module itself so i can select over here the type of battery so i'm going to select lipo it's a four cell and i can do any of the charging modes straight from here so storage repair balance charge discharge we're going to do a balance charge we hit the next button and it's an 850 so let's go down to 0.8 hit the start please wait and charging away you will then be presented with this little information screen which is pretty cool it tells you each individual cell voltage in a few seconds it will tell us how much uh, power we have in the battery at the moment it's a lipo battery four cells capacity 2 mah current 0.8 16.8 volts and cycle count and also tells you the charger temperature and it's just gone orange this battery was quite full so it's just gone orange but that's saying it's a hundred percent full so very shortly I imagine it will give me a beep and there we go we have an alarm it's full you can hit stop and we are done we are charged super easy if you don't like pressing the buttons and you like a bit of tech really really cool way to go and it doesn't stop there there is another really really cool function with this which I shall show you now so you're like me and you've got loads of different lipo batteries and you don't want to fuss around swiping and pressing buttons and what sort of gear this will actually allow you to create your own QR code you can then print it off stick the little code on your battery following that you can take a photo of the code stick it on your mobile device like I've done here and I'll show you how it works I've got a Dinergy 1850 here we'll just plug it in once you've opened up your app select the center icon which is program hit the plus button 
So what you're going to do is program this particular battery. So it's a LiPo, it's a four cell, and we're going to set it on balance charge. Select next, set our amperage to 1.8, confirm, click the save button. What that does is it generates its very own QR code. What you can do from the QR code is actually select the code here. You can hit save. It'll save it to your mobile device directory as in a photo. Uh, you then can rename it. So when you want to charge up that particular LiPo, this is all you need to do. You turn your charger on, plug in your battery, open up your app. You just simply hit the scan button. Scan in that code, it brings up that particular battery straight away, and then you don't even need to press start, it's already charging. As you can see, I haven't needed to do anything. Brings up all that information on the screen too, which is really, really cool. This battery is probably fairly fully charged. So what you can effectively do, you can save all of your batteries onto your mobile device or another device. Simply print the code out, or if you're running a couple of devices, you can have all of your devices, say, on your tablet. And you can list exactly which batteries they are. I think it's a pretty funky feature. And I really do like how it tells you all the information um, of the actual LiPo. So you can see if there are some cell uh, problems, if any of your cells are damaged. And it also tells us how many times uh, it's been charged for, which is really cool. And it's just another way of keeping an eye on your LiPos and all of your other batteries. And that's the finish. We'll hit stop. All of your saved LiPos will be on this screen here. If you want to get rid of any of them, you just swipe left and delete it. Good as gone. If you don't want to do that, look, you don't have to. You can simply plug it in, turn it on, hit LiPo, four cells, balance charge, Click on next, click on your amps, hit start. Nice and easy, everything's sitting there for you. You can have a squeeze of that while you're doing some other tinkering around. Really, really cool guys. Five stars from, from me, that's that's a really cool feature. I haven't plugged a Lion into it yet, so I'm gonna quickly do that to finish off. We'll cut it straight up to the app and go straight down to your Lion. Four cell, balance charged. I haven't touched this at all, 3.5, so charge current, and look, you just hit start, and I haven't done any pressing or finding the battery mode there, brings us straight to the running screen, and you are good to go without worrying about click, 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 press, click, press, really nice, I think that's a fabulous idea. And finally, over in the settings screen, uh, you can actually change all those settings that I spoke about before, so you can get to your cutoff voltages etc cycle uh, protection settings your buzzers you can do all that from here which is really cool and it also allows you to do a firmware upgrade should you wish to do so so everything's here nice and easy to read which is probably uh, apart from the super easy charging probably the next best feature about this rather than scrolling through the actual device you can do your firmware updates and you can check all your parameters there's a more button up the top as well um, for your manual, your app version, etc. And the GT Power website. There you have it, guys. A quick rundown of the C60 Pro from GT Power, the 300 watt little masterpiece built in Bluetooth. Super, super functional and really, really nice to use. I really do like how you can make your own QR codes for all your different batteries, which is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to get some housekeeping done. Thanks, guys. Again, link down below. Smash that bell, smash that thumbs up. Lots more to come. Sneak peek of what's to come from GT Power. We've got the AD8 masterpiece here, and also I have another sound simulator system which also operates lights indicators all from the comfort of your mobile device thank you gt power thank you for sticking with me to the end fairly long video i hope you've got something from it smash on that thumbs up if you have liked what you've seen comments absolutely any questions about this more than happy to answer see you guys again soon catch you next time bye for now